Hello viewers, welcome to Pharmacy D by Asim. I am Dr. Mahnoor Khan and our today's video is going to be about volume of distribution abbreviated as VD. The volume of distribution, also known as the apparent volume of distribution, is a calculated theoretical value. The volume of distribution specifies how widely the drug is distributed in the body. It represents the apparent volume into which the drug is dissolved. The larger is the VD volume of distribution, the less it is able to reach the tissues. It is expected to reach and exert its pharmacological effect. Usually, the acidic drugs, which are plasma protein bound, have smaller volume of distribution. The basic drugs that are bound to extravascular sites extensively, comparatively, have a larger VD. Let us now see how the volume of distribution is calculated. The volume of distribution, VD, is calculated as the ratio of the dose present in the body and its plasma concentration when the distribution of the drug between the tissues and the plasma is at equilibrium. VD is equal to dose over plasma concentration. It can be expressed as liters or indexed to body mass in liter per kg. Plasma concentration can be observed at different times, giving rise to several different possible strategies of calculating the volume of distribution. V initial is equal to VD of the central compartment from the rapid distribution phase. V extrapolated is equal to VD of the tissue compartment from the elimination phase. V area is equal to VD extrapolated from the AUC of the concentration curve. VSS is equal to VD in a steady state model, the most useful in calculating the loading dose. Now let's see the factors affecting the value of volume of distribution. The major determinants of VD are drug properties which affect protein binding and tissue binding. These consist of molecule size, charge, pKa and the lipid water partition coefficient. Patient factors which affect VD include age, gender, body muscle fat proportion, level of hydration, water distribution, edema, effusions, ascites, pregnancy, and extracorporeal sites of distribution, circuit filters, oxygenator, etc. In the end, let's discuss the clinical implications of volume of distribution. The volume of distribution is useful in estimating the dose required to achieve a given plasma concentration. It is used clinically when trying to determine the loading dose necessary for a desired blood concentration of a drug and is also used for estimating a blood concentration in the treatment of overdose. Variation of VD volume of distribution mainly affects the peak plasma concentration of the drug. This is important when peak plasma concentration is essential for the therapeutic effect for example, hypnotics. Drug dosage must be adapted to the VD for such drugs. VD varies with individual height and weight. The most important cause of variation of VD are accumulation of fat for lipid soluble drugs such as for obese patients or accumulation of fluids for water soluble drugs such as ascites, edema or pleural effusion. As the proportion of each body compartment varies with age, so does the VD for most drugs. Dear viewers, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like our video and stay connected to Pharmacy D by Asim for more informative stuff.